I'd like to start out today by sharing a story of two brothers from Eastern Washington who both served in Iraq. And I had the chance to talk to their mom on Memorial Day. And she shared with me that when they returned, with multiple health problems, severe PTSD, they'd been forever changed. And yet, as they approached the VA and tried to get the help that they need, too often the VA has not been there. And in fact, in one, one case, the VA did, took action that actually made it more difficult for them locked them in a, a room for several hours without the help and the assistance that they needed. This is unacceptable. But too often, this is the story that is repeated over and over all across the country. My husband served in the Navy, is retired after 26 years. I also represent Fairchild Air Force Base. And I've seen firsthand the impact of this outdated, mismanaged agency. We need to modernize the structure and we need to change the culture of the VA. We know that 30% of the veterans that are coming home right now have some kind of service-related disability, whether it's PTSD or traumatic brain injury, and they deserve the treatment that they were promised when they joined the military. And too often, that's not the case. So let's bring the VA into the 21st century. Let's increase accountability among its leaders and protect the brave men and women who have for so long protected us. And we're listening. We're listening and we're gonna continue fighting for them. We're asking them to share their stories, gop.gov slash your story. We need to hear from veterans all across this country so that we can address their challenges head on. I, I want to join in commending Chairman Jeff Miller for his tremendous leadership. I want to join my colleagues and my local veterans in asking for the Senate to take swift action on the VA Accountability Act. For those two brothers in eastern Washington and for the millions of heroes like them, we're not going to stop fighting until they are protected.